The real estate market is in uncharted waters. Summer is usually high season for buying and selling homes, but nothing is quite looking like normal right now. I'm Veronica Rickard, and this is Badger Talks. Today, we're taking stock of the real estate market with Mark Epley. He's director of the James A. Grasscamp Center for Real Estate at the Wisconsin School of Business. Mark, thanks for being here. Delighted to be here. Mark, the pandemic, it's sometimes called a black swan event, at least in real estate. What does that mean exactly? Well, so a black swan event is an event that happens infrequently and oftentimes is not expected. I think you can think of this uh, pandemic as something that we haven't seen since uh, the 1918 Spanish flu. And so we didn't expect it and it's impacting us uh, significantly. And summer, like I said, usually peak time for real estate, but this year I imagine it's sort of anyone's guess, where is the market right now? Uh, it's interesting when we start looking at economic growth and the challenges of it, the, com- the residential real estate market is actually in pretty good uh, steep. Uh, What we're seeing now is we're seeing um, uh, price changes that are roughly 5% year over year. So that's 2019 to 2020. That's through May. Um, And we're also seeing fairly strong sales. So we're seeing about 4. million um, annualized uh, sales in the uh, the most recent month, which would be June. Um, Over June of uh, uh, 2019, which was 5.4 million. So we're off about 15%, which isn't bad. An important number going forward as far as being over or under supplied is the month supply of real estate for sale. And right now we're at about four months supply. That's June of 2020. Uh, And we're up from three months supply. And if you look at a a normal market, uh, Veronica, it would be about five and a half months supply. So even though we're in this uh, pandemic, what we're seeing right now is we actually have a, a, a low supply of real estate, likely keeping that real estate market strong. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I think of real estate, I think about open houses, I think about going in to look at houses, a lot of in-person stuff. Have uh, realtors found a way to work around all of that, do some of this virtually? Oh, of course, just like many things, it's all gone online, right? So you can have these virtual videos, you can take a look through and walk through. Uh, in the end, though, uh, when you're really buying uh, an, an asset, which is probably the largest asset or probably the largest investment you might ever make in your life, you certainly want to go in and, so to speak, kick the tires. You want to make sure you have that inspector go in. You want to go in and look at it and make sure it's, it's what you expect as far as the um, heating and ventilating systems, the electrical systems, among, among, among other things. But yeah, a lot of it's going online. They're trying really hard to make it work. I think we're a little less concerned today in late uh, July than we were in uh, uh, April about having people come into our house. And we're also social distancing and, and using face masks, which gets us a little more comfortable. But yeah, the, the way we sell homes has changed today. So as we wrap up here, going back to the market, buying and selling, is it a good time to do either one right now or kind of neutral? What do you think? As far as whether you need to sell today or maybe later uh, uh, in the next year, let's say, the Federal Reserve has made a concerted effort to let everybody know that they're not raising rates for another period of time. And it sounds like that period of time is 12 to 18 months. So in all likelihood, the rates will stay low, demand will remain high, um, and the supply isn't there. We have one challenging factor as far as going into the marketplace, however, and that is about one in three people have applied for first-time unemployment benefits. That's 51 million people out of a workforce of about 150 uh, million people. And for those, it'll be a little bit harder to get underwritten for, for commercial mortgage. Would, so in other words, would you want to be a lender in this market? Would you want to be out there making loans to people given some of the uncertainty in front of you? You go, maybe not. Um, but with that said, what's happening is the lenders will stay in the marketplace, but they're going to be a little fussier in how they underwrite a, a, a loan. Mark, thank you so much for joining us and sharing all that today. My pleasure. For more information, you can go to covid19.impact.wisc.edu or you can email us your suggestions to covid19update at uc.wisc.edu. This is Badger Talks.